so today I'm doing an updated home tour. So I start in the living room where I have my bed sofa and where also my rabbit Olivia has her own area. She has a litter box and a little bed and recently I picked this little table up at a thrift store so that I have a place to put my cup of coffee. So this is the corner for Olivia and here I keep her kibbles and I also have a bottle of water for her. And she did start to chew on my couch as well so I had to put on some tape to kind of try to prevent her from doing that. And of course I do have some toys for her that I keep in the closet and then I try to circulate them, give her one thing at a time. I notice that when she has everything, she tends to get bored of it. So I try to give her different things. And I'm a big fan of reusing things like empty toilet paper rolls and things like that that she can chew on. And I really like to sit on this sofa bed to relax, to read a book, to enjoy a coffee, scroll through my phone a little bit, things like that. And this is my working area. I do have a table right now because I work from home and, and it's convenient to have a table. And what I also love about it is that I can have another person eating in my home. Usually I go out for those kind of social gatherings but, but I think it's nice to have a place if necessary. And one chair I keep in my bedroom and the other one I keep here. For me it's important that my home is distraction free as much as possible and that it is easy on the eye and easy for the mind. And so of course the best thing for that is living minimal with as less stuff as possible. And what also works for me is having things in the color white or natural wood material. When I'm not using this area, I just keep the chair in the corner and try to keep it as minimal on the eye as possible. And I also put the table down and put the chair in the corner and that's a sign for me that work is done. And I usually love to sleep on the floor, but this apartment is on the first floor, so in the winter it gets quite cold on the floor. And also I noticed there were some bugs in the home sometimes and I rather sleep a bit higher for now. And so during the day it's my couch, sofa and, and during the night it's my bed.
And as always with everything that I own, when you have a rabbit, they will chew holes in everything. So, so as you can see, almost everything has holes in it in this home. And this is the bedroom that I actually use as an empty room. When I wake up, I like to start the day here to kind of get a nice cup of coffee, watch a video and just slowly start the day, get myself ready. And I also like to do a quick morning meditation and to make a lot of coffee and enjoying that. I really enjoy this ritual a lot and it's always my favorite part of the day. Just waking up, being in a clear empty room and starting the day with a nice cup of coffee, a nice video and those kind of things. And so this is how I make my coffees in the morning. And usually Olivia then watches me and she sits in this basket, which I think is very cute. And I also want to mention that she does not want to have a body. I get asked that a lot. I have really tried to give her a body rabbit, but she just wants to kill them. So we're not going to do that anymore. And so here I have a white noise machine that I like to put on, especially at night. And a salt lamp that I also turn on at night. And this little standard for my phone. And she always tries to bite the salt lamp. I'm not giving it to her and she does have her own special rabbit salt stone.
And so this is the kitchen. I will put a link of the latest kitchen tour if you're interested to see what's in the cabinets. I don't think that much has changed since that. Some spices, some garlic and because the space is so small I put a mirror here to make it a bit bigger and then this macrame plant hanger is something that my mother made. It's a do-it-yourself project, I will put a link of how to make that as well if you're interested in that. And this is my hallway, here I put my coat. And I also have some decorations on the wall that my mother made. And these are all the elastics that I use. I like to sleep with my hair in an elastic, but I always lose them, so I now have one place for them. And there are some closets here. And this is the bathroom, it's very small, I don't have anything special in here, just a washing and drying machine and not much more actually. It's small but it does the job. So these were all the things that I have changed and how my home looks right now. I hope you enjoyed the tour, thanks so much for watching, see you next time.